Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Matthew Baker. It is December 22nd, 2012. And if you have a patchless you station tube, I feel fairly confident in saying that this is the first day of the rest of your life. Okay. Um, I had this thing, 1989, got in a car accident. It bothered me for 10 years. It wouldn't go away. I'm a singer. It's It completely disrupted my whole lifestyle. Um, being diagnosed in either 99 or 2000 by a Dr. Gastello in Kansas City, Missouri at St. Luke's um, with this particular thing. And how he did that was after all the battery of tests that they did in their office and charged me for in office visits, one of the last times I saw him, the second before last time I saw him, he had me stand up straight and he said, bend over at the waist and let me know if you notice anything different. Bend over parallel to the ground. So I did this. And my ear popped. It was fine. It was great. It worked fantastic. I had nothing wrong with me. As long as I stayed like this. So, but as soon as I went like this, it popped right back out. And I was talking with this thing. Again. Again. He said, I don't know what you got. I said, let's have a doc. I'm ready to go. What do you got? What do I got? He says, you have a patchless you station tube. Fantastic. How do we fix it? You can't fix it. It's irreparable. It cannot be fixed. There's no cure. People have tried to do surgery, do procedures, put in tubes, inject all kinds of crap into their head to no avail. Irreparable. To me, that was unacceptable. And this should be generally a lesson for a lot of people. When doctors tell you it's impossible, screw the doctors. Follow your gut. Do what you think is do what you think is right. So, I somehow along the way, you know, I prayed. I'm a faithful guy. This, that, and the other. Uh, this thought came to me. Start doing this. Just start doing this thing with your head and 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 do it. And now, granted, I didn't hear voices. Nothing in my head said, you need to start this exercise and do this thing with your ears and it'll help. I didn't hear voices. I'm not crazy. But the thought popped into my head to do this thing. So I just started doing it. And, and I, I started in the car um, and then I did it at the house and I did it at work. And it, was just, it just got better and better. The more I did it, the better I got at it. And eventually, within a very short amount of time, surprisingly enough, this thing was gone, at least reducing the popping uh, significantly and maybe over the remainder of the few years involved there thereafter it finally eventually went away 100% because now it's gone 100% and it's been you know we're uh, 12 years after give or take so significant improvement in a very short amount of time over time it completely dissipated now in doing this exercise here's my disclaimer I did this for me this worked for me it may not work for you I don't know. I hope it does. Because this sucks. And you, nobody knows better than you do that this is a real, it's a real pain in the butt. So, if you've had a surgery, if you've had a procedure, anything where they've cut into your ear recently, you need to let that heal up first before you attempt this. So, when your ear is 100%, even though it's still broken because of the, you know, patch of station tube, when it's 100% repaired from whatever they did, then attempt to do this. But if you've had anything done, do not do this until that is healed. Now, if you've got a procedure coming up, uh, a surgery, whatever, postpone it for two months. Two months. It, it can't hurt for two months. You're already in this position. You might. It's not going to hurt you to put off a couple more months. Give me a couple months. Try this. Um, you know, reschedule it. But... I think this is going to help. I think it's going to improve your condition. It, it, it fixed mine 100%. 100%. And I hope it does the same thing for you, but it, it's, it's a crapshoot. But you just say, here we go. Imagine your ears inside your ears are connected with a string. You're holding onto that string and you're pulling like this. So that means you're pulling your eardrums closer together in this, at this interval kind of a thing. You're, you're exercising your inner ears. It sounds crazy. I know. 
So this is what you're doing. How you do that is utilizing the muscles and tendons in your neck and the ones behind your eyes. You're, you're, you're kind of pulling down with your neck and you're pulling back with your eyes and it's creating this pressure between your ears. So it's doing this, it's you know sucking this thing in like this. And what you'll hear in the effect of the ear is you'll hear a rumbling sound like thunder, like a timpani from an orchestra. You know, you'll hear this noise, it'll, it'll you know, sound like that. Now, both of your ears are like that. It may sound in both of them like that. I don't know. I don't have two defective ears. I only have one. I barely hear it in this one, but I hear it prominently in this one. So I'm going to do this first with my eyes open and then with my eyes closed and see if you can see a difference or see if you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can, but we're going to try. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was my eyes open. Now we're gonna do my eyes closed. Hopefully you saw something. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing and understand what I'm telling you. Um, again, writing this down was not an option. Absolutely not an option. So for those individuals that, that were upset and I understand you being upset, but I had a, a methodology that, that I thought would work. It created more good, I think, than harm, but granted, it was only, out of 570 plus people, it was only maybe 1.5% responded negatively. The, the other ones that did respond, um, you know, with, with responded and weren't negative, you know, I appreciate that. So, if you do this, I started out doing it, you know, like 25 times. My ear got tired, I stopped. It's like a muscle, it's like anything, you're gonna go to the gym, you're gonna exercise, you're gonna do repetitions. Start small first and increase as time goes on. So it was 25 in the morning, 25 at lunch, 25 at night. Then I worked up to 50, 50, 50, then I went 75, 75, 75. And eventually I could do this while I'm watching TV. I mean, initially when you start out, you're gonna to wanna to turn everything off, turn off your TV, your radio, concentrate, you have to focus. You're gonna to have to get used to this movement 100%. It's, you have to be quiet. It takes a lot of work. In my opinion, it, it was difficult to do. And, and But once you catch it, and once you know what you're, you're feeling for, or hearing for, whatever, then you've got it. And you just gotta do it more and more and more, and the more you do it, the better you get at it. My hope is that your ear gets better. I can't be certain that it will. Uh, I'm throwing this out there, no charge, whatever. I don't, you know, it's it's yours to do with what you can. And the reason behind that, you know, again, could take a long process for me to develop a system to charge people for it. Whereas, you know, I die tomorrow and nobody gets it. So, you know, it's yours to use. Hopefully, you'll get some use out of it. If you do notice improvement, post on the website. Send it to all the people on that site that have this problem. Send it to them. Let them know the link. Put it out there. Um, tell your doctors. You guys have been seeing doctors all this time. Tell your doctors what you did. Tell them how you did it. I would appreciate the credit. Um, but if you want to send me a letter or anything outside, outside of that, because I honestly think this is going to make a significant improvement in all of your lives. Um, my address is 1720 Jason Avenue. Apartment 1, Edinburgh, Texas, 7539. It'd be great to hear from you. Um, you know, it's always good to have more friends. Facebook's a good place to have friends. And be positive. Don't be negative. Don't say negative things about this video and the production of it or whatever was in it. Hopefully, you think the positive thoughts and positive things will happen. That's what it did for me. So you think negative crap? Believe me, you're going to get negative crap happening to you. So be positive about it, do the exercise, be religious about it every day, three times a day, start it out small, increase as time goes on, see if you notice the improvement and how fast you notice the improvement. Document, you know, the quick, if it's like a week, two weeks, whatever, document that. Um, be as meticulous as you can. I should have done that when I did this the first time, but I didn't. But you guys, instead of my individual case study with your site administrator uh, or site founder, this is a group study. So, 
I can pretty much guarantee that you're not the only people on the planet with this thing. There's probably other people out there that aren't, con aren't connected with this page that have this ailment. But eventually, hopefully, the word would get out and, and they would be able to cure this thing themselves. So good luck. Um, write me. By all means, if you feel excited enough and you want to reward me financially, you've got my address. But uh, really, your friendship would be a great improvement in and of itself. So good luck. Again, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. This is a new start for you guys. I know it'll work. I know it'll work. It worked for me 100%. Don't quit doing the exercise. Don't listen to doctors telling you don't do the exercise because it's going to damage your ear. I mean, again, it's your choice. If I would listen to doctors on several things, I would have given up a long time ago. Then you resolve to just live with what you have. It's your body, it's your life, you do what you want. So, good luck. God bless you guys. And, and I hope, I hope this helps. Take care.